Number 10, 11, and 12 have to do with finding the discriminant of your quadratic equation. So when you have your quadratic equation, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, the part that is underneath the square root is your discriminant. Smush that in there. The reason they call that the discriminant is because if you have the square root of a positive number, you're going to get two solutions. Right? If that's the square root of 10, I'm going to have plus the square root of 10 and minus the square root of 10. If you have the square root of 0, you're only going to get one solution. Because I'd have plus or minus 0, well, plus something plus 0 and something minus 0 give you the exact same number twice. So it's really only one solution. And if you have the square root of a negative number, you get no solutions because we can't take the square root of a negative. It's an imaginary number. So what they're going to have you do is find the value of the discriminant, find this part underneath the square root, and then say how many solutions do I have then if that's the number that's under the square root. So when we do the discriminant, we're only doing the b squared minus 4ac part of it. So again, a would be negative 5b in this case is negative 1 because a negative x is a negative 1x and c would be negative 4. So I want to do b squared, negative 1 squared minus 4 times the a value which is negative 5 times the c value which is negative 4. So negative 1 squared, negative 1 times negative 1 positive 1. Again, if you're using that calculator to do that, be sure to use the parentheses. Negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. 20 times negative 4, negative 80. 1 minus 80, negative 79. So the value of our discriminant is negative 79. If that number under the square root is negative, we can't do it. And so we're going to get zero solutions to that problem. Now hopefully you wrote all this stuff down because I don't want to write it down a whole bunch. <laughs> and I'm going to go to number 11 here. So number 11. Again, I'm just going to add a little more space. And so calculate the discriminant, determine how many solutions. So I'm going to do the b squared minus 4ac part of it. a is going to be 2, b is going to be negative 6, and c is going to be positive 1. So b squared, negative 6 squared minus 4 times the a value, which is 2, times the c value, which is 1. Negative 6 squared, negative 6 times negative 6 positive 36. Negative 4 times 2 would be negative 8. Negative 8 times 1, still negative 8. So 36 minus 8, going to be 28. My discriminant is a positive 28. If I have a positive 28, that means I'm going to have plus or minus the square root of 28 which means I'm going to have two real solutions. Number 12, same thing. I'm just going to move it up so it's a little easier to see. And add a little more space. So number 12, again, we're computing the value of the discriminant, giving the number of real solutions. So the discriminant, b squared minus, whoops, b squared minus 4ac. B in this, or a, gosh darn, where am I going today? It's Monday. <laughs> a is going to be negative 4, b is also negative 4, c is negative 1. So b squared 
negative 4 squared minus 4 times the A value, which is negative 4, times the C value, which is negative 1. So negative 4 squared, negative 4 times negative 4, positive 16. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. 16 times negative 1 is negative 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. So the value of our discriminant is 0. That means we're going to have plus or minus the square root of 0, which is just a plain 0. That means I'm only going to have one solution, whatever the first part of my quadratic formula is, but I'm only going to get one real number because I get the same number twice. And the last three problems on your pie chart, 13, 14, and 15.